There was a community mission doing 50 revives. Am I right? And here I'm running around with the Parabellum. Hi guys, this is Matthias coming at you here with another infantry video. And during this first clip here, I realized while running around with the Parabellum that I wanted to get 50 revives because there was a community mission. And you'll see me pick up a medic weapon here that has the syringe in the loadout. So yeah, here is that spontaneous switch. And of course, uh, five minutes later, I forgot all about this community mission again, and I probably didn't finish. Now, the interesting thing about picking up other players' loadouts is, of course, that you try out different weapons and sometimes also different gadgets than what you normally use. This weapon is something I don't use all that much, the M1907 Sweeper. Not bad in any way, but I think this is more of a CQC weapon than uh, most of the medic weapons. Now, I've seen a lot of people use this weapon, actually. The one thing I really don't like about it is the iron sight. I just don't like it, this little round ball-ish type thing on the very top of the tick. Really, really bothers me. That is, of course, just my own personal opinion. Well, I did not in any way pick this kit up for kills. I picked it up for... revives. Uh huh. That helped take down a plane. Anybody likes this way? Oh, a revive. No. That's right, my friends, die. We have lost objective apples. Shit, I wasted all my money, uh, ammo there, all my money. That damn tank. I don't know how to get through there. Ah, he skipped. I thought go this way. So yeah, moving on with another clip here. And here you will also see me pick up another kit. So now when you spawn a C-class airship, you have the pilot class. And I have unlocked since a while ago the double barrel shotgun which in no means is bad but for me the way i play for the most part i prefer to have weapons with more range than shotguns and what you will also see in this particular video is something that i very rarely do and that is using this fortress gun now you'll see me get a few kills here in the beginning but you see a lot more in the very end of the video and i have to say it is an absolute beast if you can sit here uncontested and just mow down people at range. It has quite a bit of splash damage also, so you don't have to be all that accurate. Hell yeah, baby! Now another thing that I'd like to tell you is that my stream is nowadays starting a little earlier than normal. I used to always start at 5 p.m. Central European time, but from now on I'm going to start somewhere between 3 and 4, and I'll send out a tweet on my Twitter letting you know the exact time. 
Of course, if you're following or if you're subscribed to my Twitch channel, you will get a notification the moment you are online. So yeah, I really hope to see you live on Twitch.tv, maybe right after you've watched this video. Anyway, I hope you will enjoy the rest of it. My name is Matthias, and I want to thank you all for watching. A flame trooper kit is available near your location. <laughs> Wrong weapon, but I got him. Oh, and then I got killed by... <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, did I shoot there by mistake? We have taken objective butter. That's a shunt like that. An enemy airship has arrived. Oh, shit. Oh, <laughs> wow, and I died just as fast. That support has to be with one of the uh, tanker counters. And the assault and the scout is normally not... Is, is normally doesn't work if they are in the same place. They should be a bit apart. They, I mean, they're good at dif different ranges. Bad control. <laughs> what did he say? He was laughing at that guy getting, getting killed there.
Sollte abgesichtet. Soldat da drüben. Vorsicht, ein Soldat. Feindlicher Soldat, ja. Das ist eine ihrer Soldaten. Seht ihr? Das ist eine ihrer Soldaten. This guy is elusive.